Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Sopp. You also know it as the Fit Fun Father. Um, I've got a podcast, Fit Fun Father podcast. Also a certified personal trainer in the Edmonton and surrounding areas. Uh, basically, I got started a couple years ago. I had a uh, um, pretty traumatic uh, separation, divorce. Was very overweight and felt that it was there was a need to kind of get myself in better shape so that I could feel a little bit better. And uh, over the last five years, I've spent a really good majority of my time researching, developing my own personal health and fitness, uh, and then translating that to other people, obviously with a career in the fitness space. So super excited to uh, pair up with Alberta Diabetes Foundation and do a bike-a-thon here at the end of August to promote helping others get out in the community, get active, get fit, and really to uh, help with diabetes as well. My father, a type two diabetic, um, who has come such a long way and has seen profound effects in health, fitness, uh, nutrition, and uh, is living a very long, healthy life. So super excited to be here and super excited to hopefully get as many people out in the community as possible. I partnered up with Alberta Diabetes. Um, very important for me uh, because it hits home. Uh, you know, like I said before, my dad is a diabetic and I understand, you know, as a trainer, seeing a lot of unhealthy people come um, into this space where they need to kind of, you know, be more healthy and are, are getting diabetes and the effects that diabetes has on people. Um, and some of the really quick, easy things that we can do to help, you know, revert that or help those people sustain a very healthy lifestyle with diabetes type 1 and type 2. So something very um, relevant in my life and it was important that I got with a great organization that was willing to help support me with this particular bike ride as well as helping support other people with diabetes. In the beginning uh, it's quite funny just to start dating people again. I had a lot of self-esteem, self-confidence issues that I was dealing with and really wanted to kind of find my own um, as I'm new as I was newly single that quickly really turned away from that as I started to feel better sleep better and really have better relationships with my family and friends um, and I really kind of just love to do research in it and through time uh, and effort was very consistent in the gym uh, and just found a real passion and love uh, for fitness and here I am it's like most of my life is evolved around fitness so I was inspired to uh, do this bike-a-thon basically when I first purchased this bike uh, in front of me here uh, a friend of, of mine uh, and I would go for these bike rides and, and I could barely in, in the beginning ride up a hill um, I was out of breath I was found myself walking the bike more than I was riding it and as I continued to just pursue uh, fitness and riding and, and continually trying and putting in the time and the effort as little as it was over time I felt I could go longer distances I felt that I felt better on the bike I had more energy and I thought you know if if somebody like me can start out like that um, anybody can do that as well and I just want to show people where it's possible and how far you can go uh, we're just putting a little bit of time and effort every day being consistent so this bike-a-thon is uh, kind of one of my Mount Everest's that I'm I've been trying to climb for a couple years and I felt this is the this is the time to pull the trigger all right I'm setting out on my journey believe in yourself if I can do it so can you